Well, the leaders of the most popular social media networks have finished testifying over just how safe their platforms really are for children, especially when it comes to sexual exploitation. The CEOs of TikTok and the parent company of Facebook and Instagram volunteered to speak before a Senate panel. However, the leaders of X, Discord and Snapchat were forced to come under a subpoena. As these companies defended their platforms, they're not only facing bipartisan anger from lawmakers, parents who lost their children and blamed these companies for playing a role in their deaths packed the hearing too holding up photos of their children. At one point, a senator asked Mark Zuckerberg, who oversees Facebook and Instagram, to address these parents. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? My co-anchor and friend Kate Snow is on Capitol Hill and has been following this hearing all day. Kate, good to see you. We know it's rare yeah. to see good Republicans. To see you too. Yes, yes. And, you know, it's rare for Republicans and Democrats to be in total agreement, yet they seem to be in this hearing. So walk us through what Zuckerberg said there and other key moments you saw. Yeah, I, I don't know if I would say zinc like total agreement, but definitely substantial agreement between Republicans and Democrats when it comes to this issue, because we're talking about a hearing that really centered on sexual exploitation of minors, children, and, and abuse of children. So that's something everyone wants to stop, obviously. Even the social media companies say that they want to stop that. But what you heard over the course of hours, the hearing just wrapping up a short time ago, what we heard over hours here was really pointed questioning from both sides of the aisle of these five CEOs, as you said, of prominent social media companies that children are using. Um, and, and the questioning really was along the lines of what more can you do? Why are you not doing more than you are right now? Are there ways to filter? Are there ways to report things to law enforcement more quickly? And then another big picture question that kept coming up uh, is about liability of social media companies. Senators wanted to know, why are you not liable for what happened? on your platforms. Many senators think they should be liable for that, but right now federal law shields them from liability. I want to play you a little bit of sound. It'll be from Senator Klobuchar uh, from Minnesota, a Democrat, and from Senator Ted Cruz of Texas, a Republican. Senator uh, Cruz was pressing Mark Zuckerberg of Meta about search results showing illicit material. So take a listen to what both senators said today. When a Boeing plane <laughs> lost a door, in mid-flight several weeks ago, nobody questioned the decision to ground a fleet of over 700 planes. So why aren't we taking the same type of decisive action on the danger of these platforms when we know these kids are dying? Do Did anyone verify to... whether it was in fact child sexual abuse material? Senator, I don't know if, if every single search result we're following up on, but... In, did did but you report the, board, the people who wanted it? Senator, do you want me to answer your question? Yeah, I want you to answer the question I'm asking. That gives you a sense, Zinkley, of the vibe here today. Um, just, you know, a lot of tough feelings. And by the way, families in the audience, uh, in the room, in the hearing room, who lost loved ones because of things that happened on social media, isn't Clay? Yeah, Kate, many of those families in the hearing room, but also all over the country. I know you spoke with a family in Texas just this week, and you've spoken with families for a year, but this was a young w woman whose life was changed by interactions on Snapchat, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, her name is Ellen. She lives outside of Dallas, Zinkley. And uh, when she was 14, she joined Snapchat. And she says soon after, a person who pretended to be a teenager started interacting with her over and over again, asking her for photos, illicit, sexual photos. Um, she says that she didn't send any, but he sent her inappropriate naked photos a lot. Um, and this went on and on until the Department of Homeland Security called her mother to say that this was happening and he was actually an older man taking advantage of Ellen. I want to I want to let you hear a little bit of what Ellen said to me about what she wants to happen. What do you think Snapchat could do to stop people like the man who came after you? I want verification of a profile picture that matches the account holder along with the same age shouldn't be a question. 
Now, Snapchat says to us in part, what happened to Ellen is horrific, illegal, and against our policies. We work diligently to prevent predators from misusing and abusing Snapchat. I have to say one other uh, big picture thing here, Zinkley, today is that there was a lot of talk about legislation. There is some bipartisan support, as you said, for pieces of legislation that could move through Congress, could move through the Senate. I think the big question is whether they will, whether they'll ever get scheduled for votes uh, on, uh, in the Senate, in the full Senate, um, there's a lot of will, but it's an election year and there are a lot of other pieces of legislation on tap right now, so no one's real sure how much will actually move forward. St. Clair. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.